Hello peeps, today we'll take a look at the best IPTV box in the market. I made this list based on my favorite and I'm trying to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the up-to-date prices and more information about these excellent items, you can check out the link in the description. Best overall, MonsterBox X1 Max. This cool IPTV box is one of the best in the market. I was skeptical before I bought the MonsterBox X1 Max, but I'm very pleased with all the content it provides. This box will eliminate my extremely high monthly cable TV bills. Plus, I will be able to watch all the premium cable channels without the extra cost. Setup was very easy, and I watched TV shows within a couple of minutes after connecting the box. It did take quite a long while to get through all the providers to choose my list of favorites, but that is a one-time thing. There are just so many options. The video quality is also awesome. I tried both hardwired Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Both were significantly slower than what my network is capable of, but neither had any buffering issues on anything I watched. They're sufficient enough to watch anything available without frustrating pauses or inferior quality. I found it easier to use a Bluetooth keyboard I already had on hand to search for movies and TV shows by typing in the names instead of using the included remote to scroll through the alphabet on the screen. Best for lossless audio playback, Zidu Z10 Pro. This media player is one of the best IPTV boxes. This is equipped with a quad-core processor and offers 2G memory with 16 gigabytes of built-in storage. It supports numerous interfaces and has a full-function backlight learning remote control. This media player delivers outstanding picture quality and is an excellent addition to your home entertainment system. On the front panel, we get a large, readable LED display. The player has gained a new, elegant housing with a clear LED display and a pocket in which you can mount a 3.5-inch SATA 3.0 internal drive and a capacity of up to 10 terabytes. The housing is made of a brushed aluminum, and the upper cover has ribs for efficient heat dissipation. This is one of the best chipsets on the market. Realtek RTD 1296DD, quad-core 64-bit processor based on the ARM Cortex-A53 platform, has been specially designed for multimedia playback. Best Budget Streamer, Roku Express 4K+. Plus. This is proof that if you wait long enough for a technology to proliferate, you can eventually buy it in an incredibly low price. Such was this case of SSDs, USBs, and high-capacity RAM. And now the same is true for the 4K HDR streaming devices. This offers 4K HDR streaming at up to 60 frames per second over HDMI 2.0b, with support for HDR10+. There's no Dolby Atmos or Vision support. Two high-end formats for spatial audio and HDR, respectively. But you're getting most of the features of streaming devices that cost over $100 for just $39.99. While it's missing those high-end formats that the Roku Ultra has, and its range is a bit shorter than the slightly more expensive Roku Streaming Stick Plus, the Roku Express 4K Plus is Roku's answer to the Amazon Fire Stick 4K and Chromecast with Google TV. It's affordable and has all the same streaming apps. Best with Linux OS. Infomir Mag 524W3. This is a high-performance 4K Linux set-top boxes. These next-gen Mag devices feature an M-Logic S90 5X2 chipset, a new GPU, and a 25% more powerful ARM Cortex-A53 processor. With these devices, operators can offer uninterrupted services and a high-quality user experience. The Mag JS API ensures easy migration from early Mag set-top boxes to modern models. It allows you to develop applications quickly and offer integration and customization solutions. The set-top box provides a high-quality user experience and runs for months without being rebooted. With MAG 524-524W3, operators enable their audience to watch linear TV, video on demand, and other content. The set-top box plays files over the local network and from external media one. Best with inbuilt soundbar, Roku Stream Bar. Not all people have large dwelling rooms, and the area around the TV can be limited. What's more, some budget TVs still run short on handy HDMI sockets. This makes the Roku Stream Bar a rather ingenious all-in-one package, combining the guts of a Roku streamer with a compact soundbar. It can connect with your TV through a single HDMI ARC connection, though you may use an optical input in case your TV doesn't guide ARC, and it really works similar to Roku's other 4K devices. There's a guide for HDR10 and Dolby Audio, though not Dolby Vision, HLG, or Dolby Atmos. And it has the same simple, app-focused interface as the Streaming Stick Plus. The Stream Bar has three large advantages. First, it's neat and easy to discover space, even if you've only got a small TV. Second, it helps the broadcast range of apps, including Amazon Prime Video. 
Netflix, Now TV, Google Play Movies, and TV. Third, it sounds better than you might expect. It won't make full surround sound, but you'll get a wider, richer, and more excellent powerful sound than any TV speaker can muster. And when you factor in that, you're getting both a streaming box and a sound bar, and the price is amazing too. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you loved it. Take a moment to hit the bell icon so you'll get notified of all our new latest uploads.